So nation comes calling and oh. uh, they get the you get the offer finally mm-hmm. you are at nation yes mm-hmm. so i joined nation in march mm-hmm. 2006 mm-hmm. it was an interesting offer because those days at nation they would give you a, a contract and that says you retire at 60 <laughs> so yeah i was i was uh, 25 years old so i was like wow for the next 35 years i'm set i have a job mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah so we went through the of course the easy fm was part of the um, the radio yeah. radio department was part of the nation broadcasting, broadcasting division there are different divisions i think yeah. there's a newspaper division mm, so there was a, of course circulation mm. uh, uh but then now the, then there was broadcasting mm-hmm. which was more or less like the new one mm. because broadcasting if you remember for mm. if you worked at nation you are, you know <laughs> yeah i did <laughs> you yeah. worked at nation yeah, yeah. in 1999 when they started uh, the broadcast when they started radio they started radio yeah, yeah i'll tell my story someday yeah. i wa- i knocked on the door slightly before they launched uh, nation fm yeah nation so FM. i was there to see the birth of nation fm And on october 19 yeah 1999 uh-huh. and then also for the birth of nation, nation tv, TV yeah. the year after and for both Uh, radio and TV I did some of the very initial shows so uh, you are, yeah. yeah so, yeah, so am, you, I, you know so i'm not yeah. telling you anything new but no, for the but, but, audience but, yeah, yeah we, we we need to tell the story yeah mm. so yeah it was part of nation broadcasting division mm-hmm. so of course now yeah one unit in terms of nbd yeah. nation that's nation broadcasting, broadcasting division, division but now you have the radio side yeah, yeah. which was very small yeah. we were like goodness i think we were like just um yeah. of course they have the presenters yes. you know kinashila mwaniga yeah Uh, Munene Nyaga, Nyaga uh, Shiro uh, Shiro Muiruri came later yeah. those banner do you know when yeah, I was there yeah. he actually used to do the sports and I would do the news yeah. I learned a lot of sports from him in fact my love for sports I'm very big on sports started at Thanks nation started at nation because, because I had to do this read some of, like when he would be when he would be running late to tell me Sheila just go and yeah. read read the sto- sports story for me after right. you do the news yeah. so when I started reading the sports I got I'd get so excited and I'd you yeah. know put that energy and yeah. move and in fact some people told me yeah, no you, you you look like you understand I was so green on sports yeah. some of those names I didn't even know how to pronounce the names are usually the hardest eh, in sports eh, those those this, this yeah. footballer called yeah. Sols Ja yeah, exactly and this man United coach that has yeah. just been that has just been fired Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I couldn't even pronounce yeah. his name. So the I names to, are the hardest part yeah. of sports. So I used to have to actually get yeah. like before I do news. Yeah. Actually for all the names even yeah. even just any any yeah. international names I'd actually go to someone who I think would know yeah. and start asking, "Ina, how, how, how do you pronounce, pronounce this one?" Yeah. Now it's much easier because there's the um, there's Google and there's Google pronounce. Yeah, Google pronounce. Yes. So just <sighs> click and are, pronounce after. So much easier. So easy now. So much easier. <laughs> My goodness, uh, it's I a know, walkover for I anyone. Know, if you could, I don't know. If you could roll back yeah. and, and have all this technology and innovation. Yeah. yeah. Like, hey, me I think I'd be very fine if we had those things <laughs> then, but I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, so I when so at Nation I was doing as I said I was taken in as presenter. Right. Come reporter. Yeah. So the the, the presenters mm-hmm. and then we had the the news side. Right. The news team was so small mm. and you were expected to do news from yeah. from from 6 a.m. To until 8 a.m. 8, 8, 8 so AM. yeah so those are like 14 hours of oh, news yeah. and we're like just the editor my yeah. editor then was Nambura Gidongo yes uh, myself and we had one reporter yeah um later on we got another news presenter yeah. and then the other filling presenters mm. news presenters yeah. were from NTV or were from TV yeah, yeah so we'd have the likes of Sophie Kenya mm. and like Tom Boya mm. who were just anchors mm. when they were not anchoring on TV on the weeks because they do weekly shifts so yeah. on the week they're not anchoring TV they're bringing in they would stuff. come in to help us radio. on radio yeah. but then now for me who yeah. was now fully a, an easy FM news presenter come reporter yeah. I, even if I'm not presenting yeah. I'm back there researching yeah. writing the scripts because yeah. for them now you just give them the scripts yeah. to go read yeah. uh, sometimes going to the field because yeah. we only had one reporter yeah. uh, but we also had a carrying pool. a recorder yes. recording box, box the, pops exactly yeah. those things not that I just see them doing on the phone oh, yeah <laughs> because those recorders so I even had to find yeah um and then also we, because again we didn't have such a large news team mm. uh and production we would yeah. also rely a lot on NTV 
Yeah. Yeah. So we'd get a lot of the news the news feeds from yeah. them. No yeah. footage in terms of the audio, audio clips. Audio clips. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So there's a lot of work, mm. production work mm. you do at the back yeah. end. Yeah. So getting the scripts, yeah. like you'd get the scripts from yeah. what is NTV reporting yeah, now. Exactly. Get some of the scripts mm. and do the stories because mm. radio now is just about it. But we also had to write it in a radio language mm. because mm. the TV language is it's not the different. same as radio because yeah. TV you can see the pictures. Yeah. Radio is purely audio. Yeah. So You're you reading a story. You have to. Yes, exactly. You have to do it differently. And then Easy FM was not a news station. Passy, mm. it was an entertainment station, mm. so news was like secondary. So, you know, that news you're going to do is like for two minutes, that so you have to make it short, easy. short, and quick. Yeah. Easy, yeah, so even the news is it easy. wasn't nation, FM. yeah, it wasn't nation FM yeah. where you worked, yeah, where it was the heartbeat of the nation, uh, yes, yeah. this was. Easy the FM, the home of the city. Of the, yeah, the sound, sound of the city, I think. Sound that's of the city, yes. The, yeah. So it was about the music, yeah. the easy music, yeah. and about the, you know, of course now the the, 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 the entertainment yeah. aspects of yeah. it. So news yeah. was not such an emphasis. Yeah. But yeah, so we'd get the news mm. from the newspaper. Mm. We had, of course, the a, a unified mm. news system mm. where you'd get what the stories that have been filed, but then now you have to rewrite. So mm -hmm. I was doing a lot of rewriting. Mm editing and things like that mm, mm. so yeah I, I did that I did that so that was in 2006 mm. so I and, and as I mentioned earlier I started doing sports as well right and yeah I got so keen on sports mm. back and now I started yeah now the, the all this I got my own English team that I was supporting because I got <laughs> I mean I would read all these sports news I got yeah. so interested which became your team Chelsea. Chelsea. I'm still a Chelsea uh, fan. <laughs> uh, our editor will throw stones at you. <laughs> Najo, I, I know, I know, where I, I know which team you support. You can tell. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> we'll fight after this. So, so yeah. So I got so keen. One of the things I remember, I really became so big on mm, sports. Like, mm. yeah, I became a really big sports fanatic because mm. I'm. For me, it was hard to read things I don't understand. Mm. I, I, it was very hard for me because mm. I'm an experiential person. Mm -hmm. I can't go take the mic yeah. read news yeah. and i have no idea what i'm reading yeah. i have to understand yeah. so that's why i became so big on sports mm. and also on politics because mm -hmm. a lot of the news was about politics mm. especially eh, 2006 was just like this year we are having now yeah, yeah. It was like 2021 2022 yeah. it was pre-election yeah. it was it was a very contested election in yeah. November 2007 yeah so there's a lot of politics mm. and i got the opportunity to cover a lot of the mm. political news mm. and uh so we we uh I, I got of course interested in the politics mm -hmm. And, and the governance mm. stuff because mm. a lot of things happening. Mm. Then you remember we had 2006 was just this 2006 was just a year after the the the, the, the referendum, right? You know where right. the no the no yeah referendum. no had carried the day, yeah. and then yeah. there were all these talks. How do yeah. we revive the constitution discussion? Mm. Mm -hmm. So there are all these debates around governance mm -hmm. and everything. Mm. So I got so interested because a lot of the mm. events I would be I would really also volunteer sometimes to cover would be mm. interested would mm. be those governance related mm. things like mm -hmm. maybe things to do with you know um yeah and, and ngos are, are launching a report mm. or they're having a press conference on governance or mm. human rights issues mm. um but related to the elections mm. so i became so interested in mm. that mm. you know so then elections happen hey of course that was a very 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 extremely difficult year especially in the newsroom mm. yeah because and you are the heart of it you are the heart of it how does it look like being in a newsroom um, yeah. you know during elections